Well, hey there team, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. So new year, new me. <laughs> Let's give this a bit of a go. Um, I'm very much flirting with the idea of doing split shifts. I don't want to say whole buffalo because whole buffalo in its truest form is more someone working out their own idiosyncratic collective sort of trophy hunter problems. It's got nothing to do with a video game. That's a personal issue. Um, so somewhere in between would be like doing split shifts. So things like trying to complete an entire work order sheet, but it might take a couple of shifts to do. Now that makes sense to me, but trying to get every single nut and bolt and rivet in, no, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm mentally sound, so I don't think I need to do that. But um, like I said, especially with these larger, big ships, these new ones at the higher tier, because it seems to come across multiple tiers, there's probably a case for um, for doing it over a couple of shifts to get all the different work orders done. So we might start looking at doing stuff like that in, in sort of work order fair. In fact, across the board, I was, I was thinking about it sort of thing. Um, well, I'm not going to hold Buffalo this to get, like, this little piece of panelling fucking here and all that. No, and it's there's too much that can go wrong. The game is broken as fuck and buggy. Like, we've discussed this. I'm not going to hang on it too long. Um, and I'm also going keyboard instead of uh, thumbsticks, so I'm still sort of readjusting to the controls. Um, I did try remapping. Like, I thought, what if I could just make it so you cycle through things? No, it won't let you do it. There are no, like, equipment cycle buttons. Like, just keep pressing Y to cycle through all your tools. Won't do it. There's only up, down, left, and right, and it's very limited. Sort it out, devs. Like, he here's one thing. The save system's unforgivable, but I understand there's a technology limitation. It's just whoever's running the studio and making all decisions is making uh, is is doing you guys dirty. But here's just a real quick example. If you're going to radically change the controls with a radial insertion, which I think has been universally fucking lambasted, people hate it, consider having a good rebind option for things like cycling tools. Because that's what it used to be before. You would just flick a button to switch between two tools. Now we've got three, so why not just cycle through? So I'm just sort of pointing out how you can see that there there is a real fault with their direction in the studio. There's something going wrong over there in that we're going to change the way that the control mapping works, yet we're not going to have a rebust key bind so as to keep the people that are comfortable previous happy. It's just, it's so short-sighted, it blows my mind. Anyway, um, potentially what we could do is, like, run through... What the f... Oh, my God! So to, so to cycle through those menus is Q and R, not Q and E. Apparently, E selects. Again, whoever's... You should sack whoever's in charge if you like your UI controlling direction sort of thing. But, I mean, that's that's the tip of the iceberg with this fucking studio. Anyway, I told you I was going to be calm and, and happy until I touched the keyboard. Um, potentially, what we could do is actually sort of go through... And kind of do everything. Easy narrative? What is this? What is this narrative? Because it's training? But uh, I'm not I'm not against actually even going back to the early tiers and just going through everything, especially now that there's the new sort of equipment in place, uh, the, the new cutting limitations because they've hobbled us so you won't be able to cut up the old ships quite as easily. So I'm seriously considering doing something like that. Is uh, like mackerel station hopper and light cargo. Mackerel heavy. Maybe we should just do that anyway. Look, I'm getting back in the swing of it. It's been a little while since I've played. I'm working out the controls and then we'll work our way all the way up to these like fucking turbo neckbeard ones up here. This and that'll probably take a, a couple of shifts. And so I'll start I'll start sort of split shifting through all these. Yeah, I don't think there's really need to do this training one. But here we go. So what is what are you? You're a station hopper. You're a light cargo. I don't think there's heavy cargo, but you're tier two difficulty. Right, let's do that. And if we finish the work order quickly, which we probably will, who, well, who knows actually? I don't know with the demo charges. Then um then we'll move on to uh Well, we'll just do the whole shift and, and cut this baby up. Alright, so what is this tier two? What's the difference between that? This one's got slightly more hazard. Oh, hazard rating, medium and high. Yeah, give me that. Give me the high one. 
Let's see if I can actually do the work order of one of the easiest shifts in one uh, in one shift. All right, we're gonna have to invert these bloody controls. Controls, invert Y. Now, I hope the key mapping... Well, I didn't actually mess with PC key mapping, so we should be okay. All right. Actually, can I check my inventory here? Repair kits, three. All right, so we've got utility kits. I don't think you need them on, on this type of ship anyway, so... All right, shift is duck. That's rotate. I think T was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the controls are kind of familiar to me. And I can mouse wheel through the different views. Okay, cool. So, okay, get the reactor out. That's step number one. I can't really cut through. Well, actually, do we need to depressurize? We do. So let's start with that. Where's the airlock? Airlock's on the other side. Okay. I don't actually know how to grab with my hands. What's middle mouse click do? Oops. Of course it bloody does. We'll figure it out. We'll learn this. All right, airlock. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Yeah, this might be the way. We'll work through the different hulls, you know. Be good fun. Good fun. Let's let's get airlock let's get the fun levels. back. All right, let's flush the negative out. We know that they've they've shit the bed with this game a fair bit. Let's just let's move on from that. All right, collect key. Wonderful. We can do this. Here we go. Level right, there's the reactor. Right, the old bloody methodology, right, was the, uh, was to, uh, oh, okay, let's grab the, oh my god, get out of the fucking way. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, 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 okay, we're definitely depressurized. We are, lots of red. Okay, we've got little cut things. Okay, here we go. Come on. Ah, oh, cut the floor out. Here we go. Um, boop. There we go. Get rid of that. And then we go... Fuck, how do I do tethers? How do I do tethers? Uh, no, no, it's not going to be in inventory. It's going to be in controls. Key mapping. Grapple. Mit what is this? Oh, okay. Movement. Thrust. Break. Is it technically part of the grapple? I don't think it... Place tethers? Oh, it's just right click? There we go. Off she goes, big dog. Salvage nanocarbon. Oh yeah. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. All right, and I can wind it in with right click. Okay. Salvage metal, salvage antenna. All right, so the antenna makes a lot of sense. Let's do that. Oh fuck me. Like baby's first steps, man. That looks like an antenna to me. I have to middle click to push it. Oh, fuck it, hell. Okay, that's all right. We're learning. We're learning. Is that airlock can pressurize? It is. Let's maybe fix that. All right, salvage metal, salvage nanocarbon. Um, I mean, I can't see why we can't cut the nose off like the old days, right? That should work. Got the mouse acceleration strange in this. All right. I will push it with the old bloody square head, eh? A 
Hello there. Not bad. Okay. So, I guess if we... I mean, the airlock's always a pain in the ass. Ah, uh, right out loud. Um, let's see about just... Dragging that away. You watch, by the end of uh, this, we're going to get through all the hulls and I'm going to be an absolute fucking... These bloody Drongo speedrunners won't know what hit them. <laughs> all right, um, here we go. Pull this out. Uh-oh. Uh, that's all right. The game just started there. We'll salvage you because you're dangerous. I love that that was the emergency backup power and the whole ship's just gone down now. That's cool. Oh my goodness. We'll, we'll get there. I feel geriatric as anything. So, what's going on here? Is it, is it attached by a handle or something? Or? Oh, Jesus, don't do that. Holy fuck. Oh, we might as well, now that you're stuck up in my corridor, let's get rid of you. We're getting slightly faster already, you know? That's probably going to be enough nanocarbon, if we're being honest. There we go. So, salvage metal. Now, I can't remember if it counts the... Uh, see, titanium is metal. And yet, that goes in the processor, right? So there, there is room for some cheeky shenanigans, because fuck aluminium. No. Now, how do I cancel tethers? That is something I would like to know, especially right now. Grapple. Place tether. Cancel tether. Why? Okay. Why, why not? Okay. All right, let's see what sort of tick that gives us. What are we on? 126 kegs of metal, and just a tiny bit of flooring in that will give us what? Oh, quite a bit, actually. Calmly now. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. I think I'm going in a furnace. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, there we go. We're all done. We still got six minutes left, so. Nice. So let's see if we can uh, 
make some make a bit out of that. All right. Was there not another antenna on the top? Oh, I think there was, but I might have accidentally sent it on its way. Let's uh, let's try pulling this airlock apart because that's something that's a bit new. Alright, so presumably... We've got about five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. Don't bite off more than you can chew. We wrap. Okay. Okay, interesting. So now that tumbles out. This wants to go to the barge. This wants to go to the process. Oh, okay. So this is, you know, look, I poo poo a lot of their changes. This is definitely handier, more like Lego. But then, do you want, like, before you had to cut away at it, like you were cutting at a block of wood. Which, I don't know. I don't know if that's better or worse. I guess it depends on their design. I mean, at least th this indicates that they're more interested in it all just being modularly sort of pulled apart. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. It's interesting because, like I said, we've discovered that the way that this game seems to work is they um they have like a cheat system that glues the game together I guess I could grab this. Getting less terrible with the controls, I think. Yeah, so this mostly wants to go on the furnace. There's a little bit of processor to it. But this one wants to go to the processor yeah it's just because it's the aluminium roof thing Material deposited. no what are you doing yeah I mean we've got a minute 30 there's not much I'm gonna be able to do with this frame here One 
Now, I don't think that'll come away, actually. Or will it? Oh, it will? Okay. Well, that nacelle wants to go down to the barge. Um, stuff it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! I wonder if I can get both of them. You know, it has all sorts of conflict issues. Or maybe I'll get none of them. Bugger. Oh well. 1.3 million, not bad for a little little baby little baby ship like this, but more importantly, we got all the work orders complete. We do need LT to upgrade the bloody stupid demo chargers, which we got away with not having to use this ship, so that's probably why I had fun. Um fucking gimmick. And um but that's alright, we'll we'll get we'll get used to the controls and we'll get used to the demo chargers, and before you know it, I'll be singing their praises and I'll be bloody um, you know, gaslit like the rest. So, there's one, one episode down, um, and then I guess we'll just keep working through as I get my sort of sea legs, as it were. Let me know if you, what you think of this format. This will mean that at a certain point I will have to do, like, split recordings on my time. People that have followed the channel for a while realize that's why I don't do the longer episodes, because it is a lot to ask me to record a fuckload of episodes back to back in one sitting, especially when I'm, I'm not a hard space channel. I mean, imagine being a hard space channel. What a joke. But yeah, like I'm, I'm, I have to, more, more specifically, I just have to cover lots of different stuff for indie channel stuff, you know. Um, but, uh, but I will make an exception for this as we go along, because at the end of the day, um, a lot of you guys came here because of my hard space stuff, you know, and while if we're going to be really honest, you know, I've been honest all along, you know, I, I don't want to beat the drum, but my passion has waned for this game and it's directly because it's not because I'm burnt out or anything like that. It is because I think the developers have made some really terrible decisions and they've hurt that. Um, but I, I suppose the due diligence on my side is to try and be flexible as well, right? You can't just go, they change things, I don't like it, throw the dummy and throw it out of the fucking pram and be done with the game. That's, you know, I, I think I should at least do my best as well. So um, my come to Jesus part of it all is, okay, cool, I'll work through these, I'll learn the controls with mouse and keyboard, we'll see what comes of it, I'll learn how to use the debt pack, like, I'm trying to be a good sport, and, um, and we'll get to a point where I'll, I'll make the effort to record, uh, across multiple sessions to do, not whole buffalo, but, uh, but, like, whole work orders, which will be multi-episode undertakings, especially at the higher end, for sure. Anyway, team, let me know what you reckon. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.